Shakari Richardson is very much celebrated going into this as the world's fastest woman in the 100 meter um a lot of us know that it's only for 2024 so far do you think that the u.s is more open in their preparation than jamaica because they are a little bit more confident or is it that jamaica is more strategic in their preparation and do you believe that shakari richardson is really the woman to beat because she's openly being celebrated as the fastest woman in the world while no one else is being celebrated as the fastest man in the world he have to prove it Shakari Richardson had been doing it. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the narrative where it's okay to be curious. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future video uploads. Drop a comment. Paris 2024 Olympics, the 100 meter women's. You cannot say the 100 meter women's without first saying Shakari Richardson. Last year and the year before and the years before, we would say Jamaicans. But we can't say the 100 meter women's in 2024 without saying Shakar Richardson last year after we had two 10-6 runners alongside Shakar Richardson in the finals both athletes looking to dominate Sherika Jackson and Shelly and Fraser Price Shakar Richardson after coming out of the qualifying room she came out and she won the world championship and since then she confirmed that she's not just back she's better she that's her, her slogan I'm not back I am better and she always talk about all that she had been through she had been motivated going into the previous olympics i think she was around 20 years old or so she had a problem getting in there because of miss wana marie wana no she fixed all that problem and she's coming into this olympics as the most celebrated american female athlete shakari richardson is very much celebrated going into this as the world's fastest woman in the 100 meter um a lot of us know that it's only for 2024 so far she's the fastest woman for 2024 so far and with our title contender in sherika jackson shillian fraser price and tia clayton they are just there they're not they're not up there in terms of times and we'll have to wait to see what will happen but Shaka Richardson, absolutely, hands down, one of the best female athletes going into 2024. Her aura on the track is just electrifying, and off the track, it's equally electrifying. Probably even more, the athlete just keep the entire U.S. hopeful for a gold medal. It's been a while, it's been a while since they've had a gold medal in the female 100 meter. Maybe for the past five Olympics, they haven't seen a female 100 meter, maybe four definitely since 2008 the female 100 meter gold had gone to jamaica so now this is redemption for the usa they will be looking to do everything that they can to get there the all eyes will be on shakari richardson uh, in on the track off the track from the start line to the finish line and while the eyes are on shakari richardson a lot of eyes will be on a lot of different records a lot of world records will be in reach of some of the athletes so there is a list of world records that the world athletics are some of the, uh, the olympics people are looking at with the best chance of seeing it falling and i'm sure the us would be looking to bank or to cash in on some of these world records i don't know if the jamaican team is preparing for any of these world records it would be good because the talent is there it's just that we don't know if they are in that kind of shape at the moment so world records in danger of being broken is the woman 200 meter and again the most likely person to take this might just be a jamaican in sherika jackson but gabby thomas she will be gunning for that record as well she she will think that she have just as good as chance as sherika jackson this record had been held for maybe 36 years old 36 years this record was set by florence griffin journal and it's just sitting there it's like nobody can touch it there'll be a, a, some they'll be going after the shot put record not too much about this record I'll, I'll they'll be going after the triple jump record now this one is another hopeful for jamaica this one was set by great britain's jonathan edwards 18.29 meters the jamaican prodigy the 19 years old jalen hibbert will have a uh, something to say about this because He's a young athlete and he started out the year with the third best jump last year break a few records and they'll be looking to see how far he'll be able to jump will this be a, a, a world record that could go back home to jamaica or somewhere else it's one of the world record that the olympics 
think that could get broken the women 400 meter hurdle that is one that sydney mclaughlin lavron has she just might break it again her own record she had been breaking that record like you know she's been breaking that record over and over so they're expecting that it could fall as well the women 400 meters um, is another one that is in the sight of the olympics that could get broken this is not an easy record to get broken it's 47.60 that's set by Mar marita koch of east germany and that was set a long time ago in 1985 but they're expecting it could go could get broken the men 400 meter hurdles they're expecting it could go as well there are few records that even though the the the, the world is not it's not putting it into focus the likes of Noah Lyles is definitely putting it into his focus you know there was a time when he said that the 100 meter men will be his for the taking I don't know which universe the 200 meter men will be his for the taking the thing is Noah Lyles is very quick and he, he has an opportunity to do great things but running the 100 and the 200 he may not be able to do it it's just because he hadn't gone below the 980s his, his best time is 981 and even after running the, the 100s he usually run a, con, a more conservative time in the 200 while fast, being faster than everybody else the time is still conservative enough for you to say that he may not be able to go past the 200 meter record in the olympics because the 200 meter record is 1919 and his best time is 1931 but since running those 1930s he we haven't seen those times in recent times and when he's running the rounds you might see a time of like a 1950s maybe 40s at best so those are records that is in the sights of the world and the u.s especially but i'm sure that deep down the usa would be looking to get some relay records because they have the foot speed for it and i'm sure sure that they would be looking for some technical adjustments that could get all of it to just align properly watching the usa in training for their olympics it's almost like a Olymp watching the usa in training for their relay seems like a relay camp they are doing a very good job it's like they're being more cohesive and the athletes are finding ways to just work better together they are building a chemistry the chemistry where they could feed off each other and get to that record in the 100 meter women especially the 100 meter men the foot speed is there i don't know if the technical efficiency will be there but who, who knows i don't know who knows let's see drop your comments down below and let me know what you do you think that the u.s is more open in their preparation than jamaica because they are a little bit more confident or is it that jamaica is more strategic in their preparation and do you believe that Shakari Richardson is really the woman to beat because she's openly being celebrated as the fastest woman in the world while no one else is being celebrated as the fastest man in the world he have to prove it Shakari Richardson had been doing it drop your comments down below write narrative like share and subscribe